Good morning, my family throughout the world. Um, good morning. Good morning. I hope all is well thus far with you today. Um, so on Wednesdays, as you know, I dive in a little deeper on the um, the struggle topic for the week. And um, so today I'm going to do, do something a little different. I'm going to dive in uh, to scripture on this one as a reference point in support of our struggle for this week, which is lost. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go to John, John chapter 10, one through 10. So bear with me. I'm going to try to be brief, um, briefer than usual. Um, so, okay. <clears throat> because I need you guys to get this. I need to get this. I need, like, we need to have something for today, meditate on and, and walk, walk throughout our day because even today has a purpose okay so um okay so um the parable of the good shepherd truly truly i say to you he who does not enter by the door into the fold of the sheep but climbs up some other way is a thief and a robber but he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep to him the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out when he puts forth all of his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. A stranger they simply will not follow, but will flee from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus spoke to them, but they did not understand what those things were which he had been saying to them, talking about the Pharisees. So Jesus said to them again, truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. So <clears throat> speaking of loss, um, From 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 um, my walk, um, I become lost when I began to stray. I um, and how I began to stray, I start focus focusing on my life, um, everything around me. You know, the day in and day out. You know, life struggles, whatever. Uh, just just life. Um, you know, I don't start my day off you know, in God's presence. I don't pray like I'm supposed to. Um, I don't listen to sermons and, and, you know, for me, this is how I stay connected. Um, this is how I get fed. This is how it helps me stay focused and, and walk a, a, a straight and arrow. Um, and when I begin to do the opposite, like, um, the vision that I that I once had that God gave me, um, the direction where I'm supposed to be going, the things I'm supposed to be doing, uh, day in and day out, um, it come it becomes a a blank, like just a blank screen, and and I no longer know what to do. So then I find myself just going through the motions, you know, just 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 living, just just walking through life, just existing, uh, purposely. Um, and, and when I, when I, when I find myself trying to, you know, communicate with, with God and trying to get that back, it's, 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 it's hard because I've become, I've allowed myself to come so distracted to everything else around me. It's like that voice that, that, I could normally hear and recognize when I'm connected uh, to him and in his presence. Um, it's, it, I don't recognize, I don't really recognize that voice anymore. Um, it's not that the voice isn't there. It's, it's because I've become so assumed with just life and everything that's, that's going on around me outside of him. I, you know, like, the more I the more I go astray, the more I become lost. 
I began to live aimlessly, uh, just walking purposely, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. And I find myself so disconnected where I become, I be, I began to have this void within me. Um, and, and it's the, it's the void of, of the father. It's the void of Christ that once, although he still lives inside of me, although he have not left me, I left him because I started to become consumed about everything but him. So he's in me. He's living in me. I just kind of like, okay, I start to go my own way, you know, because whether it's leaning on my own understanding, not doing, um, not practicing my day in and day out, getting outside of my routine, um, which, which is him. So I become very lost. So I would ask you, do you feel lost today? Um, and why do you feel a void? And why? And what do you think that void is? Um, do you find yourself blowing with the wind? You know, like changing, changing as the weather do. Do you find yourself in darkness or uh, a maze, a whirlwind, not knowing what to do and where to go? Um, may I suggest to you, if you've had a relationship with Christ before, could it be that you got away from him? Could it be that you no longer acknowledge him? Could it be that you no longer place him first? Could it be that everything else matters but him? Everything else matters most but him. Could it be that could it be that that you no longer place him above all like you once did? Could it be that you walked away? Because um, I forget where in Hebrews, it's one of the 12, 13 chapters, but God said, I would never leave nor forsake you. Could it be that it's you the one left him? You know, can I suggest to you that and to myself that the things, the one thing, the one person that kept us grounded, kept us um, feeling whole, um, kept us with a sense of knowing why we're here and you know and what we're supposed to be doing uh on like on our mission could i suggest to us that we need to get back to that one um that kept us if if you never had a relationship with christ may i suggest to you um that you should invite him in you may not know what that looks like. And trust me, this uh, Christian walk that a lot may portray, it's not perfect. It's not perfect at all. You know, like he come for sinners. He come for sinners. Like we're sinners. He come for us. He come to save us. You know, so he accept, he accept you as you are, but you have to be willing to accept him. May I suggest to you that you, that you invite him into your life as your savior invite him in to to rule over your life to to be to be your rock to be the one that 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 helps you the the one overall to be your savior like i said before and and just start there it may not change instantly but what it will change that now okay you have someone that's going to, you have your shepherd that's going to walk you through the pasture, through the, the valley where the wolves lurk and, and prowl and you will be protected. May I suggest to you that you invite him in and give him permission to live in you, give him residency in your life and give him permission to change your life, take over your life, move your life adjust your life, realign your life, all these things. So you can no longer feel like you're lost because you're not, you, you're, you're just roaming. You're not completely lost because there's a savior in your life. You just have to invite him in and allow him to take over you. Okay. I'm going to go a little uh, further tomorrow, but I must end this now. I love you. 
and I'm praying for you and just accept him in your life because that's where your void is. That's why you're feeling lost. Okay. I love you. Enjoy your day. Come back home. All right. Peace.